Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, this morning, we made the executive decision not to go to work because it was raining and miserable and cold. And of course, two hours later, the sun is out. The skies are blue. That's Melbourne for you, we're used to it. Today, we're hanging out at my place, um, showing you how we clean out our cement drum that's in all sorts of trouble at the moment thank you to a thousand subscribers and um thanks for all the comments likes and support i uh, appreciate that today we're doing something a bit different something a bit fun and interesting show you how we clean out our cement drum and we're having a day off and we'll show you how we spend the day so sit back enjoy the video thanks guys the key to starting off your sunday day off is to get make sure you go out get yourself a cuppa and some breakfast and that's what we're about to do on our day off start it off right this is alice my partner so i know we haven't introduced her yet but she's the one that puts up with all my whinging and complaining when i come home from work and i'm stressed out so we're off to get a cup up get some breakfast and then we'll do our run arounds and get our things that we need for the week and clean out our mixer you're in the Point Cook region, or Werribee, Melbourne surrounding areas in the west. Tompkins Bakery, best coffees and rolls. And my friends that I've been seeing for years. So we're going in there to get our brekkie this morning. Moment, as you can see, or may not see, there's some big crystals and diamonds of cement on the back of that. It's fair to say we haven't looked after this nearly as well as we could have. Uh, it's going to require a bit of a bit of work to get all of that off the arms there. And you can see big bits of the back. So we're going to pull the drum off and show you how we clean it. So come in here, come in close. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take off our drum. What we have is an Easy Mix Lightning 3.5 drum. Okay, that we're gonna we're gonna take off and we're gonna clean the inside. So this is what we do when we do that. Come in close. We've got our pin here, and we're just gonna wedge this in, out, wiggle it out. That comes out like that. All right. Once so we got them out, we're just gonna pull these washers off. Put a fair bit of oil and stuff on there. And put them aside. Make sure you don't lose these with the pin. Right, so set them aside, and now it's just a matter of making sure that it doesn't fall on you. So probably the best way to do it is pull it so it's facing down, and then just wedge that out. Something like that, without hurting yourself and without it falling on your leg like it did for me. But there's, there's the drum. We're going to take it out the back. We'll give it a clean up. We'll show you how we do it. So conveniently, we've got our fire pit out the backyard now. We're just gonna lift this drum into the fire pit now. We'll probably put the camera down. We need a bit of help getting that in there. There we go. Got the drum out, off the mixer, into the pit. And show you how we clean out our mixer when it's too far gone. Sometimes you got a little bit on there. I know there's a few other techniques, using a bit of uh, crushed rock, crushed bricks, um, a bit of acid sometimes, where you got little bits on there. But when you got gone too far and you got the big crystals, we're having trouble with our cement mixing in. This is a really good method that we've used in the past. That's worked really well for us. So 
And it's a fun other way to do it as well. Now that we've got our cardboard and fuel in there, in the base, what we're gonna do is chuck some kindling in. Close, don't be scared. Got that in there like that. What? We're gonna get our fire starters and chuck them in here, come in, in close. Get them in there in the bottom. And there, like that. And then we get our lighter. Oh, wait, I know where it is. One moment. So here we go, setting them fire. Start as a light. Hey, careful, please. There's one. Yeah. And there we go. Perfect for a Sunday, winter's day in Melbourne. Sitting around, we'll let this burn for a while. Got our chairs set up. You can't tell me this isn't the best way to clean the mixer out. Get a couple of beers, packet of marshmallows. Have a look at that. And of course, the day started off rainy and gloomy. And of course, Melbourne weather, two hours later, blue skies and sun. So, it's a bit confusing at times whether or not to work. You don't know what you're gonna quite get in Melbourne, but you're getting used to that. So we'll let that go for a couple of hours now. And slowly, we'll come back and check on it another half an hour or so. We'll have a little stoker and we'll just hit the backs of the, the drum and, and you'll see what comes off. Now we're really starting to smoke up. Got, got a good fire going in there. No. Sitting back, beer in the hand. It's a good Sunday, well spent I think. Blue sky now, probably should be working but we'll have the day off. Cheers everyone, hope we're having a good weekend, having a beer, enjoying yourselves, staying safe, that's the main thing. So half an hour's passed now, the drum's getting nice and hot on the surface, just using a little crowbar, and now you can see, just hitting all these, even these bits at the back, from the outside that hard stuff see there that was built up around the lip of the drum all just coming off nice and easy so eventually as this burns over the next couple of hours what we'll do is get in there at the arms hit away at them and get some of their big diamonds off have a look at the inside come around here see you've got a couple of logs in there really starting to Burn up the inside nicely. And even giving it a slight tap. Not too hard. We don't want to put any holes in the drum or anything. But just a light tap. Getting all that, that stuff off there. So we're about an hour in now. Really hot as you can see. All these sides are starting to peel back. Just using the axe over to that nice and easy. That's all the stuff that we couldn't get off manually before all their moms had their big crystals on them before now they're stripped right back starting to look bare all the crystals are coming off nice and easy just with light taps yeah. it's getting real weak oh that's just peeling back Breaking away now. 
like that. A couple of hits. You can see it all crumbling off the side now. As you can see there, all these are nice and clean. Look at all them diamonds now. Going off there, the arms are nice and clean. We'll wait till it cools. Then we'll give it a, a big bit of that. Try and get some of them big lumps off the very back, but let us know how you guys clean your mixes. I know there's probably a better way than setting it on fire, but this one's probably a bit far gone. Old Big Red, we've had him for a year and a half now only, believe it or not. We haven't looked after it nearly as well as we should have, but that's a learning thing. Um, just got to get better at cleaning it every day. Uh, and yeah, so give us some recommendations of what you guys do below, how you guys keep your mixes and tools clean. Um, like everyone, I'm learning. I'm new to the, the game and, and always looking for ways to, to better ourselves as a bricklayer better myself as a bricky and, and and find better methods and, and ways of doing things as well so open for discussion guys leave a comment let us know what you guys do and as always have a good weekend hope everyone's staying safe and healthy we'll see you on the next video cheers guys